So you're getting ready to build or buy a new computer. But one key decision remains. What operating system are you going to pick? And unless you're using a Linux distribution or buying a Mac, chances are you're going to end up with some version of Windows or another. Now at first, this might seem like a non-decision. Just pick the 64-bit version of whatever the latest Windows is and you're all set, right? Well, maybe not. Because ever since Windows XP, there have been home and professional editions of every Windows and some additional ones from time to time. And it isn't always obvious what the extra money, sometimes as much as another hundred US dollars, will get you with a enhanced professional license. So when does it actually make sense? Well, the answer depends not only on your needs, but also on which version of Windows you need to run, as many folks still need a copy of Windows 7 to run legacy applications. So we'll be covering 7, 8, and 10 in this episode. Now it's one thing if you're thinking about getting a professional edition just for the extra bells and whistles, but it's quite another if you need one to take advantage of your hardware specifically. Memory if you're running Windows 7, is a big factor here. The home premium version only supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. And with many higher end computers these days, having sometimes significantly more than that, that would be a reason to go pro. Windows 8 and 10 support a much more generous 128 gigabytes on their home editions. Although Pro could be a good option if you need more RAM than that for something like virtualization. Especially as Hyper-V, Windows' built-in virtualization support, is only available in Pro and higher. But other than supporting more memory than an elephant, what else do professional editions offer? Well, ever since Windows 7, BitLocker, Microsoft's version of full disk encryption, which you can learn more about here, as well as encrypting file system, has required buying an addition beyond just the home version. Windows 8 and 10 Professional include BitLocker, while for Windows 7, you'll have to step up to the even more expensive Ultimate Edition. So if you're storing sensitive data on your drive that you can't afford to have stolen, shelling out more money for a fancier version of Windows might be something to look into. And if you're watching this, the chances are you might be the de facto IT person for your friends or family or even work, and you might find the remote desktop connection feature in Pro useful, as only computers with Pro editions can be remotely controlled if you need to fix a problem or grab a file from another PC. Though it should be noted, there are lots of remote control options other than the built-in one in Windows. We've actually talked about them before. But wait a second, Linus. I mean, can I just use third-party tools for a lot of this stuff? Well, yeah. In fact, many of them are free. So why should you give more money to Microsoft? Well, the answer is that more expensive versions of Windows still have some features that are hard to get by other means or just more difficult to do without switching operating systems entirely, such as setting up a domain at home, which can be useful if lots of people need access to the same resources, and if you'd like to fine tune what they can and can't do. And if you can get your hands on an enterprise version of Windows 8 or later, you can actually use Windows To Go, which essentially allows you to run an entire customized Windows session off of a USB flash drive, which is pretty freaking cool. So even though the base versions of Windows have gotten more feature rich over the years, pro and higher versions might still be worth a look if you'd like an experience that's a bit more powerful without having to run around and find third party tools for everything you want to do. Just don't call yourself an IT professional on your resume after picking up a copy of Windows Pro, especially if the only reason you bought Windows Pro was to virtualize 10 instances of Minecraft. Speaking of being a pro, FreshBooks. Are you running a small business or even like a sort of getting bigger business? FreshBooks is on a mission to make your life less stressful and more organized through their easy to use tool for crafting and sending professional invoices and keeping track of your accounting. Stuff like how many hours you spent on a particular job, who you did it for. I mean, 
I, I know, I know, I have been through that. I have forgotten things like that. Being able to accept and keep track of the deposits that have been paid for your work, it is freaking awesome. They even have a tool to manage your expense reports. The mobile app just lets you take a picture of your receipts and boom, pretty much handles the rest. Getting started on FreshBooks wouldn't be helpful if it wasn't extremely simple, even if you're not a numbers person. So you just try it for free for 30 days by going over to freshbooks.com forward slash techquickie, which is linked in the video description. Enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us and find out if FreshBooks is right for you. Spend your time running your business rather than spending your time doing accounting for your business with like one of those big calculators with the like, spool of paper that comes at the top. Come on, man, get with the times. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to leave a comment with suggestions for future videos, that is down there. If you want to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos, that's also somewhere. And also, don't forget to check out our other channels. I'm sorry, my outro scrolled past the teleprompter. Don't worry about it. See you next time.